In this Routebot CNC application video, we will see how to install the driver of the USB to RS-232 converter. We have already booted the Routebot CNC controller PC, and we have connected the new modem cable to COM1 of the CNC controller PC. Now, the USB converter has a DB9 connector on one end, and on the other end, it has a USB connector to plug into a laptop or desktop computer USB port. So we have already connected the DB9 end of the USB converter to the new modem cable. So the CNC controller PC is all ready to go. Now, on the Windows 7, 8, and Windows 10, Windows will install the driver for the USB converter automatically as soon as we plug in the USB converter, USB end, into a USB port of the PC. But on the Windows XP, you need to install the driver manually. To do so, you go to the COM USB and you go to the setup and then you follow the procedure to install the driver on the Windows XP or Windows 2000. On this particular computer, we are running Windows 8 and Windows should be able to install the driver automatically. So what we're going to do next is to connect the USB converter into a USB port. Now we have connected the USB converter into the USB port and Windows is trying to install the driver automatically. Now to see if the driver was installed, auto, uh, was installed properly, we need to go to the control panel. And in the control panel, we will go to hardware and sound. Then we go to device manager. Now, we're going to be looking for where Windows have installed this uh, driver. It should be on the USB UART. Now, we, if we click on the USB UART and we click on the properties and driver detail, we can see that the driver was not installed properly. And this is okay. So what we will do next is we will follow the push procedure to install the driver because sometimes Windows doesn't get it right. Uh, we have seen many times on the Windows 7 where the driver will install automatically when you plug in the USB converter into the USB port. Same thing with Windows X, uh, 8, but sometimes it doesn't do it. Therefore, we need to follow the procedure. So we have already opened the COM setup, and we're just going to see what we need to do. We, we need to plug in that into the, 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 the port. We've done that. And we need to just open the driver is on that location, C brand driver, Windows OS. Now we're going to just go and browse to it. We go to the File Explorer and we will go to where that driver is located. It is located at this in the same directory that the software was uh, installed, in this case, routebot.cncmail, and it is Sabrin driver, 
Now we'll look at the note over here. It's on the Windows OS, Sabrin driver, Windows OS. Okay, here are the drivers. So this is what we need to tell Windows where to get this driver for this USB converter to work. So to do so, we're going to go back to the device manager and we're going to say update driver software and we're going to browse. Now we're going to go to the location that these drivers are. They are on the same location where the software was installed. Sabre and driver, Windows OS. And we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to click on Next. And then Windows will try to reinstall the drivers based on the directory that we have just provided. And as I said, typically Windows does this automatically, but uh, once in a while, uh, Windows is not able to able install the drivers automatically for the USB converter, and we gotta do that procedure manually. On the Windows XP in 2000, we must always do that procedure, but most of the time on the Windows 7, it does it by itself without any problems. Uh, this is a Windows 8.1, computer laptop. For some reason, it didn't do it automatically, um, but normally it, it, it does it automatically. But in this case, it, doesn't, it didn't do it automatically, so we just went ahead and we point uh, Windows to the location where the drivers are located, and it just installed the drivers without any problem. So we can see here, Windows has finished installing the driver software for this device, USB serial converter. So we're going to click on close. Okay. So it finished installing the uh, USB converter drivers. Okay. Now we're going to go back. Now we're still into the device manager. And we're going to look for USB converter. That's what we just installed. Other device, USB serial port, properties. We might as well update the drivers for this one too. Say brand driver. So we update the driver for both. And now we can see that it's going to be using USB serial port COM3. So the device is properly working. So we click on close. So now this is what we're looking for. After all the drivers have been properly installed, the COM3 is the COM port that, is, will, that Windows will use to communicate with the USB to serial converter. So it's important that we take note of this COM3 because this is what uh, this computer will always use to communicate. So we only have to do that once. And as I said, uh, sometimes Windows get it right and install everything on its own. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, we just follow this procedure and we easily install the driver. So now we are communicating on COM3. So we're going to close this device manager. And now we need to set the port for communication to COM3. Basically, we're going to be using a USB port, and it's going to be a USB port over COM3, and we're going to apply and save. Now, everything is ready for Routebot CNC to communicate with the CNC controller. We basically connected the USB converter into a USB port of the graphical user interface PC. We have properly installed the driver for the USB converter. And all the cables are connected between the graphical user interface PC and the CNC controller PC. 
the CNC controller PC is running. So we're ready to go. Now, all we need to do to connect is to click on Connect USB. And now we got a warning message telling us that we got to make sure that the CNC controller PC is as restarted. In this case, it's already running and it's ready to go. So we're going to click on OK. And we can see the progress bar, which means successful communication has been established between the CNC controller PC and the uh, between the graphical user interface PC and the CNC controller PC. Now, the next step to complete the connection is to apply the license. We need to go and get our license, and then we enter our license and we click on apply license. And this will be the last, last step to establish the communication between the graphical user interface PC and the CNC controller PC. And basically, this setup with the USB port and all that, we only do need to do that once because now everything is saved. The uh, COM3 is saved. Everything is saved by the system. So the next time, and then the drivers are already installed. So even if we disconnect the USB port um, after we finish, obviously we don't want to disconnect the USB port while RouteBot CNC is running, but after we exit the program and uh, we disconnect the USB port and we want to connect something else, it's fine. When we connect back a USB converter into the USB port, Windows has already the driver there, so it will recognize these driver are communica communicating over COM port 3 and it, the, this driver will load themselves, and Robot CNC will be able to communicate again without any issue. So basically, this whole setup only need to be done, not, need to be performed once, and when it is done, we don't need to do that again.